Camera for Tweaktown here. We're here at the Gale uh, factory here in Taipei. You can see some of the testing area here. We're going to show you around uh, the factory and uh, give you a look at uh, some of the parts of producing uh, some memory modules. Enjoy. Okay, so we're like walking into the first area here at the Gale factory. This is the IC uh, testing area. So you can see a lot of machines here. Uh, what they're doing, uh, this doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but they're testing the memory chips that go onto the memory modules. Um, so what we can do is we've been told we can open the door. This is a bit of a first. We're not normally allowed to open doors in factories. Okay, it started beeping. We would spot. Okay, this is good for video, I guess. We were told that we could open it. Oh, we're supposed to pause it first. Okay. All right. So, okay, now the door's open. Uh, I hope we didn't break anything. Uh, you can see um, these are the memory module uh, chips that go on the uh, memory modules. You can see here this is a machine. We're not normally allowed this close in uh, to machines. You can see they just see they're using um, gigabyte motherboards here to test the memory modules. So what we'll do is we'll close it up and we'll start the machine. So we just, uh, it was on pause and just go to start. And now the machine's working again. So it's collecting uh, the module, the chips there. And there's a slight problem here. He's just checking something that might have been to do with something we did. Okay, machine's starting again. So it's taking chips from the pile here, and then it's taking them to one of the motherboards to test them to make sure they're all okay. So we'll give you a bit of a look at this because it's kind of cool. Machine is very quick and delicate when it needs to be. Try and go in close in a minute so you can see it picking up some of the memory modules just to guess. Okay, so this is the first machine. And now we'll make our way over to the next machine. Okay, we're back again. Now we're walking through, this is the end of the IC testing area, these are some other machines. So we walk through to another room over here, this Taipei outside, and this is the Gale uh, burning chamber. So what this is doing is, um, for desktop memory, there will be a burn-in for one hour for server memory there is a burn-in for three hours, that's what we've been told. And um, I'm not going to touch the door anymore, so we'll ask the factory manager to open it for us. Okay, and now behind the glass we can have a good look at the burn-in processes of uh, some of this memory. You can see a lot of I would say they're kind of like a little bit bigger than a mini ITX motherboard. Uh, customized uh, motherboards, PCBs, just for memory testing. You can see here. This is a manual process. There is no robotics here. The memory is manually placed into the DIMM slots, as you can see here. So the, press, the, the idea of the burning process is uh, to basically burn in the memory, so that is to make it more stable, uh, it's also to ensure that the memory is going to operate properly for the end user. So basically once uh, the tests are finished here, again it's one hour for desktop memory, three hours for server memory, we move over to the testing area. So we close, close this door now, and then we move into another room, which is uh, the testing area. So. Here we can see some gigabyte motherboards. These are P55 
in tow, base motherboard um, for testing memory. And we move over, you can see more Gigabyte motherboards. Gigabyte motherboards are definitely popular here at uh, Gale, as you can see. More testing, more Gigabyte motherboards over here for memory testing. And we have some Asus boards here. And I've been told these are for testing uh, some high performance uh, Gale memory. Uh, they don't all, this is hand testing by the way, just to ensure that they actually reach the speeds that uh, Gale claim for their products. Um, so this is, we're sort of coming to the end of the factory tour here. Um, Gale actually do not have um, SMT here, that is outsourced to another company. So basically the first step you saw uh, in the first building with the IC testing, uh, they'll test the chips. Once the, once the chips are confirmed to be okay, they'll ship those off to another company who will place them on their PCB for them. And then, uh, once those chips have been placed on the PCB, then that's when it becomes a memory module. So the memory module will become back to here and it will go into the burning test that we just saw. And then it will um, make sure, and then it will do a test in another machine that's just to the left of me now, but unfortunately it's confidential and no one to show. It's very cool. Um, basically, I, I think I can tell you, I can't show you, but what it does is it will get each individual memory module using a robotic machine and it will place it inside, uh, place it on the motherboard, and it will do a test to make sure it's working properly. Once it passes that, if it's required for some more high-end memory, it'll come over to this area where we are now to do hand testing to make sure it works as it is. So, this has been our um, look at the Jill factory, Gale rather, Jill or Gale, however you want to say it, factory in Taipei, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it.